Section 5 lacrosse playoffs continue to deliver two overtime games in last night's quartet of championships, but tonight we had the coup de grace of overtime fun. Girls Class B Arondicoit, the mini Cinderella of this tournament, facing the defending state champs from Victor. Eagles start red hot. Early second half, Maeve Brennan, she had four goals. Arondicoit led 7-2, only 16 minutes to play. But the Blue Devils storm back. Devin Livingston, I presume. Top shelf, it's a one-goal game. Last chance for Victor, 10 seconds to go, still down one. Livingston to Libby Bolin in front, buries it. We're going to overtime. In the OD, the Blue Devils were relentless, but Emma Francis made the big save, so we play on to a third overtime. Victor on the doorstep, Francis again, kick save and a beaut. We go to a fourth overtime. Victor free position shot, Ali Pisano, the eighth grader, rips it home. Victor completes the comeback, getting the win 8-7 in quadruple overtime. We knew that we had to have grit and we couldn't do it without each other, so we came together and we stayed calm through all of it and we got it done. I mean, it may have been the last goal, but we couldn't have done it without the team and my team gave me confidence and they told me that I could do it and I, they believed in me and that helped me. Victor boys trying to make it a title sweep tonight. They took on Spencer Port. Rangers in their first ever title game look pretty comfortable. Jaden Rodriguez rips it in. Spencer Port down just 5-4 at the half. But then the Blue Devils start doing Blue Devil things. Jack Herendine tucks it inside the post. Victor up four. Pax Marshall, little no look to Aiden Klinkscales right on the doorstep. And then Thomas Gravino, a one-man wrecking crew tonight. He had four goals in the third quarter, seven in the game. Victor back on top again. They win tonight, 16-6 the final. Back to the girls, Class C final. HFL looking for title number 11 in a row, taking on Palmac. Early second half, Red Raiders down four. Reagan Deal cuts into the lead, but it was all Cougars from there. Shane Angelo, she's only got one good hand, no problem, four goals tonight. Then later, Paige Kidd taking on the whole defense and winning. That made it 9-3. A little later, Cameron Tribuskowitz over the shoulder. That's pretty. Trickles in. HFL, 11th championship in a row, 15-6, the final. Speaking of dynasties, how about the Penyan boys taking on Aquinas tonight? The Irish, the only team in the last quarter century to prevent a Mustangs title. After a scoreless first, Penyan surgical. Bryant Van Housen gets the game's opening goal. AQ responds, Jake Gugino sneaks in a bouncer. It's 2-1 Penyan, but no AQ upset today. Caden Dixon, he had three goals. Penyan wins 11-6, their 12th championship in a row and the 24th in 25 seasons.